In lesson 13.5, we will apply the law of sines. An oblique triangle is a triangle that's not a right triangle. The first thing we're going to look at is the area of an oblique triangle. The area of a triangle is equal to 1 half base times height. So if we drop a perpendicular from angle B to side B, this is the height of this triangle, and it divides the triangle into two right triangles. If we apply the sine function to acute angle A in that right triangle on the left, we know that the sine of A is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, or H over C. And solving for H by multiplying both sides by C, we get H equal to C times the sine of angle A. And now substituting into our area formula for H, we get area is equal to 1 half B times C times the sine of A. So here we have a formula for the area of a triangle in terms of a sine function. And because we can drop a perpendicular from any angle in this triangle to its opposite side, we can write this area formula also as 1 half AC times the sine of B or 1 half AB times the sine of C. And now it doesn't matter which form of the area formula we use to find the area of a triangle, they're all going to give us the same measure, so we could set all of those expressions equal to one another. 1 half BC times the sine of A is equal to 1 half AC times the sine of B and they're both equal to 1 half AB times the sine of C. To simplify this equation, we can divide all three areas by the product 1 half ABC. And in this first part, we can cancel 1 half top and bottom and BC top and bottom. So we're left with the sine of angle A over side A. In the middle part, we can cancel 1 half top and bottom, and we can cancel AC, so that we're left with the sine of angle B over side B. And in the third part, we can cancel 1 half AB top and bottom, and we're left with the sine of angle C over side C. This is our law of sines, and we can use the law of sines to solve some oblique triangles. The first oblique triangle that we're going to solve is this triangle ABC. Triangle ABC has labels side C is 14, angle B is 118 degrees, and angle C is 36 degrees. This triangle is an angle-angle side case, and it's going to have one solution. So we need to find angle A, we need to find side A, and side B. So to find angle A, all we have to do is subtract, because we know the three angles in a triangle sum to 180, so we could subtract 118 and 36 that's going to leave 26. So angle A measures 26 degrees. To find side A, we'll use our law of sines, because side A is to the sine of angle A, which we just found to be 26 degrees, as side C, which is given as 14, is to the sine of angle C, which is 36 degrees. So to get A alone, we'll multiply both sides of this equation by the sine of 26 degrees, and we'll enter this into our calculator to approximate side A to two decimal places. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode, and enter 14 times the sine of 26 divided by the sine of 36. 
So side A has a length of 10.44 units. And now we can find side B also using the law of sines. Side B is to the sine of angle B, which is 118 degrees, as side C, which is 14, is to the sine of angle C, which is a 36 degree angle. So B is going to equal 14 times the sine of 118 degrees divided by the sine of 36 degrees. Enter that in your calculator. Fourteen times the sine of one hundred eighteen divided by the sine of thirty six gives me twenty one point zero three. Side B measures twenty one point zero three units. Okay, now a quick check to make sure everything's in proportion. The largest angle is 118 degrees, so opposite it should be the longest side, and side B is uh, the longest side. The smallest angle is angle A, which is 26 degrees, and opposite it should be the shortest side. Side A is the shortest side. So everything's in proportion. This triangle is solved. The next triangle we're going to solve Triangle ABC has labels side B measures 11, side C measures 8, and angle C measures 63 degrees. Now this is a side-side angle case, and there could be one triangle possible, two triangles possible, or no triangle possible. To solve it, we need to find angle A, we need to find angle B, and we need to find side A. So we'd have to start by finding angle B because we know the side opposite it. So the sine of B is to 11 as the sine of angle C, which is 63 degrees, is to side C, which is 8. So we get sine B alone by multiplying both sides by 11. And then to get our angle alone, we need an inverse function. So B is going to equal the inverse sine of this ratio, 11 times the sine of 63 degrees divided by 8. So again, in our calculator, I'm going to put 11 times the sine of 63 divided by 8. And then I'm going to take the inverse sine of that ratio. But I get an imaginary solution. So that's telling me that this triangle is not possible. I don't get a measure for angle B. What happened was this ratio that I put in measured 1.23, greater than 1, and the sine ratio, if you remember, has to be between negative 1 and positive 1. And this value is greater than 1. So this triangle is not possible. Let's look at the next triangle. Triangle ABC. With measures B equals 17, C measures 19, and angle C measures 96 degrees. Okay, this is another side-side angle case, and because side C is greater than side B, we're going to find one solution. If side C were less than or equal to um, B, there would be no solution to this triangle. So to solve it, since there's one solution, we need to know angle A, we need to know angle B, and we need to find side A. And again, we're going to have to start by finding angle uh, B because we know the side opposite it, which is 17. So the sine of B is to 17 as the sine of angle C, which is 96 degrees, 
is to side C, which is 19. So get sine B alone, multiply both sides of this equation by 17. And then use an inverse function to get that angle alone. Angle B is equal to the inverse sine of 17, sine of 96 degrees, divided by 19. And we'll put this in our calculator to approximate angle B to one decimal place. Seventeen times the sine of 96 degrees divided by 19 gives me a ratio this time less than one. So I'm going to find the inverse sine of that ratio and find that angle B is 62.9 degrees. And now that I know two angle measurements, I can subtract to find angle A. 180 degrees take away 96 degrees, take away the 62.9 degree angle that we just found is going to leave angle A as 21.1 degrees. And now to find side A, we'll use the law of sines. Side A is to the sine of angle A which is 21.1 degrees. And that's equal to side C, which is 19, over the sine of angle C, which is a 96 degree angle. So solving for A, we'll multiply both sides by the sine of 21.1 degrees. and enter this into our calculator. So 19 times the sine of 21.1 divided by the sine of 96 gives me a 6.88 length for side A. this triangle is solved. Now we're going to use our area formulas that we found in the first frame of this lesson um, and find the area of triangle ABC. So all we have to do is multiply one-half times the length of the sides that are given times the sine of the included angle. And put that in our calculator to approximate this area to two decimal places. So I have 0 0.5 times 19 times 8 times the sine of 75 degrees. And I'm getting 73.41, 73.41 square units for this triangle. Include with your notes of this video Guided Practice Problems 1-9 through nine Odd on pages 882 and 885 of your textbook.